Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Orange here, and today we're going to do another scripting tutorial. This tutorial was suggested in my server, Roblox Developers, and if you want to, go ahead and join. The link is in the description. You can go to scripting tutorial suggestions, suggest, and I will read them. And this tutorial was suggested as well. So, um... I haven't been uploading recently because of school stuff, but I decided to make some uh, time uh, so that I can make this tutorial for you guys. And this tutorial is going to be chat commands. Now um, chat commands is a huge topic and um, some people don't know how to use it. So today I'll be making a special chat command script, pretty um, advanced, uh, n well not really, but filtering enable compatible now just insert a script into server script service like i did here you don't have to name the script what you can uh what you need to do is local players equals game get service players next what you want to do is add a prefix local prefix equals exclamation mark uh now again guys i do everything from scratch so i might forget something so um these are our services um these are settings now make sure everything is the exact same all right if you don't then it's going to cause errors people have came up to me they just have spelling mistakes all right now that we got um the prefix down what we want to do is local admins all right so these are the people who can use the um commands now um what we want to do is uh so we can actually make a table um, so I'm going to test this out, but black orange 3343 underscore YT. Make sure you have the brackets as well. Um, equals um, admin. Uh, actually, we don't even need this. You know what? All right. So just rem uh, just make it so that um, it looks like this. All right. You can include other um, names by doing this name, name, name. Just add a comma. And then um, just uh, proceed with um, the string. All right, make sure you have that down. All right, now what we want to do is uh, first get the player. So player added connect function. All right, and player. Next, what we want to do is if um, admins uh, player then player uh, dot name. So if the name is listed in within that table then um print um and and uh admin dot dot uh, dot dot you don't have to do this this is for um myself admin dot dot um player dot name dot dot has joined the game now again you don't have to do this this is for my testing um yeah so uh let's see if it works Hopefully I spelled the name right. Um, hold on. If admins player dot name. Oh shoot! Wait. Um. All right. So um, what I'm going to do is just gonna print. Now again, everything is from scratch, so I actually need some testing as well. Uh, I prefer to do things from scratch because being able to script um means that you should be able to do things from scratch absolute scratch not just copy and stuff which um i'm not a big fan of but all right it looks like we're going to be using a dictionary all right um and basically what you can do is uh remove these so remove these um and then uh equals um hi uh no no admin all right, you can just do that. Now, what we are going to do is add the brackets on, the square brackets, all right? And now we're going to test. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so you're going to need a dictionary. And basically, you're gonna put the name and then bracket it and then equals and then whatever rank they are. Now, only put admins in here, please. All right, now that we got that down, um, we're going to do, um, uh, player dot um, chatted connect function all right chatted connect function and um, the message is gonna be here message all right if message all right so depending on what command you want to add 
you will have different messages all right so if message uh sub um one two six equals um kill all right actually you know what we're gonna add the prefix in kill now um now what you want to do is count the letters so starting at one you want to go to the end amount so uh remember guys the space actually counts as well so um one for the prefix one two three four five six and you want to end that six all right if there is six including that space remember guys this is important including that space if it is six then you put six down uh, or we're gonna add a or because um, uh, I want um, be now you have the the text has to be exact so I like to add an or in there so I like to put a capital K uh, so that no matter what I do um, it should do the same thing uh, local target now we're gonna have um, look uh, target or local um, yeah local target equals uh, players uh, find first child find first child um, message sub 7 all right so let me tell you how this works basically first when the player chats everything in here runs all right if the message contains the prefix and kill or a capital K with the end space then the target is equal to um, the service players and um, the seventh letter so how sub works is if the second argument is not provided so see how there's two arguments here and there's only one argument here um, if two arguments are not provided basically it will t um, it will count the rest of the message um, yeah so basically if if um, one to six six letters is kill then it'll look for whatever's left in players basically checking for our target and basically uh, if not target so we're gonna add a little warning system so um, go up here drop down a couple lines with enter and then we're gonna put in functions all right so basically local function um, uh, warn uh, uh, check for target and then we're gonna put in target in here and what we're going to do is um, if not target then uh, warn target um, target is not valid is not valid else um, print um, target is valid all right now basically we're gonna check for check for target all right um, uh, and what we're going to do is return a value so um, here return so basically go back to line 14 return true uh, actually false so basically uh, if target is not available then it will print false oh no 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 all right okay and then go down here and return true now so basically if there's a target it will say yes there is a target if there's not a target then no there's not a target so um check for target so um local valid equals check for target target all right and this is how you want it set up make sure everything is the exact same all right every single letter all right now what we want to do is um if valid then um uh target so uh we're, we're we're just gonna kill the target so um let's see to kill a target we can do remove joints i'm pretty sure that's a thing um i'm gonna go check it so you actually can't test this in studio because the chat in studio seems to be broken so what you want to do is press file press publish to roblox go to um roblox uh, shut down all servers and press play and then test it out now guys um this is basically the end um if you want to add more commands just do else ifs i'll show you that in a second all right so um if i do kill black orange 3d4 yt um let's see 
sub is in your value oh oopsies all right um my bad but sub has to be lowercase all right so make sure you change all these subs to lowercase now again um i'm actually terrible at string manipulation and this is actually string manipulation we're just checking like text and stuff and string is basically text so i'm really bad at that i'm more like not not that type of scripter but now we're gonna check what again we're gonna try again so that um we make sure that this actually works and remove joins is actually a thing now kill all right black orange three three four three underscore yt all right um let's see here remove all right all right remove joints is not a thing all right um then it's probably break joints so this would 100 percent um kill the player all right publish close so file publish to roblox press three dots shut down all servers try again i'm trying to make this as short as possible but guys sorry i just have to like do everything from scratch um but you know if i if i made it with not from scratch then you guys would probably be like i'm probably stealing scripts or something but um admin has joined the game all right and kill black orange and always make sure you use the prefix all right let's see oh my god okay you gotta be kidding me all right uh target um oh my bad okay i forgot the character break joints um here target dot character dot head destroy we're gonna destroy the head all right okay make sure that um we're just gonna destroy the head this is the simplest way also i forgot to add character guys make sure you add the character so that it's affecting their character all right and what we, we want to do is shut down now if you guys do have like money or currency in your game you can add chat commands to those as well i'm not going to show you guys how because i personally because everyone's currency is going to be different but um kill black orange 3340 yt there we go finally now um this is proof that the command works now what if we do a capital k this should also work boom all right there we go now what would happen if we did not spell it correctly if we all capitalize it chances are it won't work because the command is not valid as you can see so it has to be kill or kill if you want other options you can just add it on with else ifs i'll show you how as well so how do you add um extra uh um text to like d execute the same command well as you can see here i do the same thing i just change k to k so i add a or bef or right when it ends and then you can just keep doing that so or blah 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 or blah 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 now we're going to add one little thing um a final thing else uh warn um command command is not valid now this means the command is not valid now what if we want to add something else all right what if we want to add another command well um you can do an else if and basically an else if you just do the same thing and then uh you do stuff with the player here so do stuff here all right so um here uh let's think of a command what what do we want to do all right let's let's do a kick command all right let's kick the player so else if message sub all right lowercase one to six now we're gonna change six later but um uh we're, we're gonna change uh yeah we're gonna change six later we're gonna start counting prefix kick make sure you have that space or uh, or all right let's count now so prefix one k two i three c four k five and space six so six is actually perfect in this case next um add a little one to um one to six again prefix uh now we're gonna add a capital k uh, then what we're going to do is not affect the character this time we want to remove the player from the game we want to kick them out so local target we're, we're gonna do the exact same thing here we can actually copy this over um we can actually copy this over and actually if this number here wasn't six and was seven 
then you would change this to eight. You would add one, all right? But it's six, all right? Now, if valid, then um, uh, target okay. um, you you have been kicked from a moderator. Yes. All right. And this is how you do it. You just keep adding else ifs if you want to. Now make sure everything is correct. Pause the video, please, guys. Please. I do not want dumb mistakes such as spelling errors. So please. All right, now we're gonna test out both um, the kick command now. So, and we're gonna try um, the incorrect commands and see if it warns us. So, if we go into game and then we press F9, it will give us this log, this beautiful log. And as you can see, admin black orange has joined the game. If we do blah, 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 then it's going to warn command is not valid. And if we do kick, black orange now i'm gonna leave the game for this but and you, as you can see you were kicked from this game you have been kicked from a moderator now you can change moderator to admin but that is really up to you and thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy this is the command tutorial and um go ahead and do whatsoever you want if you want to add more admins just add name and then admin and make sure guys you have these thingies all right when you're adding more admins you, you want this thing or you can use a comma but you want these things to separate them right and that's it for today hopefully you guys did enjoy this awesome admin script um chat command script and if you did go ahead and leave a like comment down any more suggestions if you want to or you can join my discord but that's it for today and hopefully i'll get to the next tutorial faster than i did to this one